dinner time at the Van Lu house and try and change chicken up. And you know, sometimes you go to restaurants and they have that, I asked Bill, what does he want for dinner? And he's like, how about you do that like caprese chicken? And I was like, oh, okay, so you want tomato, mozzarella and chicken? Then I was thinking, then I was thinking, the wheels were turning, let's change it up. Let's do caprese chicken, chicken breast, fresh mozzarella, but instead of doing it like I was gonna slice the chicken and stuff it almost, make like a stuffed chicken caprese, let's do a play on that and make a slow roasted tomato to go on top, stuff the chicken with the mozzarella, finish it with fresh basil, serve it over some arugula, drizzle it with some balsamic. Check, I like it. Let's do it. First thing we gotta do is we have to get our tomatoes in the oven because we wanna slow roast them. So I'm doing fresh thyme, fresh garlic. I'm using the whole sprigs because we're drizzling it with olive oil, seasoning it with salt and pepper. Oven's at 350 and these are gonna go for probably 25 minutes. Shake them halfway in between so they don't get too much color on them, but they slowly blister and all that juice explodes out. Give them a shake. Beautiful in the oven, 20 minutes. Fresh mozzarella. Um, I bought the one in the package. This one is not pre-sliced, but you can always get them pre-sliced. You can use a piece of string or twine, like fine, almost like dental floss. Don't use the minty flavor, obviously. And you can cut your cheese up but a good way to do it is get a paper towel so all the excess, excess moisture uh, comes out. And I am gonna do probably quarter inch thick slices. And this is the one with the salt. So I'm just gonna lay it out on the paper towel while I get my chicken ready just so that any extra moisture comes out of it. And make sure you snack while you work. Very important. I am using whole chicken breast, and what I'm gonna do, I have a sheet pan already sprayed. Taking my knife on an angle, and I'm gonna make little slits into my chicken. Get it? So I'm probably gonna do two to three, depending on the size. And then I have my mozzarella, and I'm gonna stick it in between the layers. And I'm gonna put it on my sheet pan like that. Then, make a little sauce to go on top to marinate and cook in the oven. Once again, here we go, I'm doing four breasts, one breast per person, cutting it on an angle straight down, giving it a pocket. I think two is perfect. I have a lot of cheese, I'll throw it on top when it comes out, it's hot. One, two, on the sheet pan, it goes. In a bowl, I have some fresh parsley, I'm putting some garlic powder, I'm doing a little dry oregano and olive oil. Going to pour this over my chicken and season it with salt and pepper. We're gonna get it in the oven. It's at 325. Um, yeah, 325. Nope, 350. I'm changing it. Let's go with 350. It's like kind of pasty. Put it on back of the spoon. Rub it all over. Season salt and pepper. Using fresh brown pepper and a little bit of salt on each chicken. And let me show you how beautiful they look. These are going in the oven. Our tomatoes are about to come out. We're gonna let them rest and kind of use a fork to smush the garlic. I'll show you. So when these come out, we're gonna top them over arugula with some balsamic. I just pulled our chicken mozzarella out of the oven and I have my tomatoes here. So let's make dinner super easy. Um, the chicken with the mozzarella, like if you see it, amazing. Hold on, I'm not gonna put it over dry greens. A Little bit of olive oil on my greens. You don't have to use arugula if you want to saute some spinach or whatever. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Now we lay our chicken right on top. And our tomatoes came out and what I did with the garlic, I just kind of crushed it with the spoon. 
So I'm gonna take our tomatoes and layer them right on top. I also pulled out all the thyme tomatoes. Then that little bit of extra mozzarella that I had. Just gonna garnish a couple small pieces on the top. Nothing's missing besides the basil. You can make your own, you can buy it from the store. This is store-bought balsamic glaze. Just gonna drizzle a little bit on top. Look at this dinner. Look at this dinner. This looks amazing. If you make it or try it, please tag us. Make sure you follow us on YouTube. We post new recipes every week, especially on Wednesdays. And you better go out and check out our TikTok because that, it's just fire. Go check out Chef Kovas' TikTok. Enjoy.